Good morning, everyone. I am Gaurav Gupta, as your mathematics teacher. Today we will discuss some more concept related to polynomial, class tenth, chapter two. I again request you, please listen to me carefully and watch this video very carefully. And this is our second lecture. If you are still not watch my video first. so i request you please watch my first video because in first video what we were discussed we were discussed more basic concept related to polynomial so if you don't understand the basics of the polynomial then it is not possible to do exercise as well as to strong your basics so please watch my first video then you have to watch this video and those already watched my first video please make a look first what we were discussed in our first lecture we already discussed some more concept related to a polynomial first one is what is a polynomial we already discussed polynomial is a algebraic expression sum of the more than two term of a same variables then we were discuss what's the degree of the polynomial if you have to have any polynomial then you have to calculate its degree and how we calculate the degree the highest power of the variable in an algebraic expression gives the degree of the polynomial suppose if x polynomial have fourth degree then it is a polynomial of fourth power or you can say that if it is a highest power of x is 2 then you can say that its polynomial is or the name of the polynomial is quadratic polynomial and if the po highest power of variable is 3 then the name of the polynomial is called cubic polynomial and so on then we discussed three types of the basic polynomials that we have to take uh, some question on such type of the polynomial first one is your linear polynomial second one is your quadratic polynomial third one is your cubic polynomial and we already discussed how we represent the linear polynomial cubic polynomial quadratic polynomial their algebraic expression and we already discussed what are the necessary and sufficient condition for a polynomial of their existence is it exists or not what are the necessary and sufficient condition for the polynomial we already discussed some this then we discussed what is zero again i revise the zero is that value of the variable on which the polynomial becomes zero that is called the zeros and we already discuss how we calculate the zeros we takes three types of polynomial linear polynomial quadratic polynomial cubic polynomial and in all three types we have calculated its zeros as in linear polynomial we get 10 in quadratic polynomial we get 20 and in cubic polynomial we get three zeros and so on the number of zeros is equal to the degree of the polynomial please keep in mind we calculate the degree of the polynomial the degree of the polynomial is equal to the number of the zero for example if i have take a polynomial p of x Is x power five minus three x square plus two x plus one. Then in this case of polynomial, the highest power of x is five. So number of zeros that we uh, are getting from this polynomial is five because the highest power of variable is five. So number of zeros of such polynomial is five. We already discussed three types of the polynomial: linear, quadratic, and cubics now we have to go our next topic uh, this is our first topic of this lecture what we are uh, discuss in this lecture representation or graphical theory how we represent or what's the graph of a linear polynomial quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial and what are the its uh, you can say that geometrical representations or geometrical means it means we have to study the graph theory and we have to calculate the geometrical meaning of the 
these three types of the polynomial. So please make a look first. Then we have to start our first topic. Please make a note first. So now, now I am going to take an examples of graph theory and its geometrical representation of which a zero. Or you can say that what's the significance of the zero, or you can say that what's the geometrical meaning of zeros. So in this we have to study its graph theory. So our name of the topic is graph theory, and this topic is also important because one marks of question will be put. such type of which is based on graph theory you have to given a graph and you have to find out number of zeros then how you will find out the number of zeros whenever i we will get a graph again i repeat uh, you have to calculate the number of zero whenever you given a graph and you have to find out the number of zero by looking the graph so we have to study the graph theory and what's the geometrical meaning of the zeros so firstly i take an example of linear polynomial as we already discussed how we represent or generalize algebraic expression of a linear polynomial which is equal to suppose this is your polynomial p of x a x plus b this is a generalized expression to represent a linear polynomial the highest power of x is 1 so such type of polynomial which has degree 1 is called a linear polynomial and now what we have to represent its zeros so <coughs> how we calculate its zero as we already discussed uh, on what value of x the polynomial becomes zero is called the zeros of the polynomial so i am taking an example of a linear polynomial p of x is equal to 2x minus 4 this is a linear polynomial and you have to calculate the zero then this must be equal to zero because on which value of x the polynomial becomes equal to zero that is called the zeros of the polynomial so we have to put p of x is equal to 0 now i am putting here 0 2x minus 4 if i take minus 1 on the left hand side i get 4x 4 is equal to 2x then what's the value of x is equal to it means if i put p of 2 it means if i put x as 2 i am got a polynomial which is equal to 0 please make a look 2 into 2 minus 4. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. It means 2 is a 0. This is zeros of the linear polynomial. So in this, you clearly visible. We get only one values at which the polynomial becomes equal to 0. So you can say that in a linear polynomial. we get only one zeros so please make a note now what we have to do we have to do its geometrical representation so we have to study its graph theory so firstly i plot the graph you already uh, plot some graph in class 9 and as well as in class 8 the procedure to plot the graph is same now we have to plot this graph it means we have to take a table or you can say that we firstly make a table and we have to calculate the values of the polynomial at different values of the variable so in first column we have to take the variable and in this column we have to take the value of the polynomial suppose if i take x is equal to 0 in this when are we plot the graph we have to take arbitrary value it means not uh, necessary to start from zero you can take any one values so by put those values and get the values of the polynomial after we get the points and that points we have to plot in the cartesian plane that is called your graph 
theory. So in, in this we have to take arbitrary points. I am choosing here x is equal to 0 because on which at x is equal to 0 we get, get the simplified values of the polynomial. When I put x is equal to 0, then what's the value of the polynomial is? I am putting x is equal to 0. If I put x is equal to 0, 2 into 0 minus 4, which is equal to 0 minus 4, we get minus 4. So we get a value of minus 4. Now I am taking next arbitrary values. We have to choose any values. Suppose I am choosing x is equal to 2. If I am choosing x is equal to 2, then p of 2 is equal to 2 into 2 minus 4. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. It means if I choose x is equal to 2, I am get the value of polynomial is 0. You can choose another value also. Now I am choosing x is equal to 3 and then what will be the values of the polynomial p of 3 substitute here 2 into 3 minus 4 it means 2 into 3 6 minus 4 we get 2 so when I substitute x is equal to 3 I am get the values of 2 so by substituting or considering the values of x we get the different values of the polynomial so in this we make a table that gives a point in the cartesian plane so our first point is so our first point is 0 comma minus 4 0 comma minus 4 this is your first point now your second point whenever x is equal to 2 the polynomial value is 0. When I put x is equal to 3, the polynomial value becomes 2. So you can say that this one is your a point, this one is your b point, this one is your c points. Now we have to plot a graph. Then we have to discuss and we get, uh, we try to get the results. What's the benefit to plot a graph? So please make a note first. So now we have to plot with the graph. We already got the values of x and corresponding values of the polynomial. Uh, you can also treat this as an x if we consider polynomial has equal to y and this is your x. Then we get x and y and we already plot a graph between x and y. Or this one is your graph. This is called your Cartesian plane. This is your x-axis, here we take positive x-axis and here we take negative x-axis. Above this we get the values of polynomial, so we treat as a y or you can treat as a polynomial p of x. Here we take the positive value and in this negative direction we take its negative value. So now locate these points. Firstly I have points A which has 0, minus 4. 0, minus 4 indicates 0 is the values of the x and second one is indicates your value of the polynomial or you can say that any points is represented in terms of x comma y here the points represent x comma p of x it means first indicate the values of x and second indicates the values of the polynomial so firstly the values of x is here 0 and the values of polynomial is minus 4 then here the values of x is 0 and the values of the polynomial is negative 4. Negative 4 means we have to go downward. Now the values of is minus 4. So now we have to take our next point. Our next point is P. Here the values of x is 2 and P of x value equal to 0. Then values of x is equal to 2 here. And the polynomial value is equal to 0. It means the point is this. This is your B point and this one is your A point. Now plot C point. 3, 2. So what's the value of x is 3? 
1, 2, 3. And the values of the polynomial values 2. It means we have to go upward. 1 and 2. So we got the values here. This one is. This is your C point. And which has coordinate 3, 2. Now if we plot that. If we plot them. We get it this line. It means it show a straight line. This one is your straight line. And please make a look. This straight line has a value is equal to zero at only one point. That point is this. Or you can say that this line cut the x-axis at only one point. So again I repeat that what's a zero? It's geometrical meaning of any linear polynomial or a quadratic or whatever it could be. You have to check the graph of any line, cubic or quadratic polynomial. You have to check on which value it cut the x-axis. Here this line cut the x-axis at only one point and that point is called the zeros of the polymer. It means this line gives us a one zero and that zero is this is g2 comma g. This is the general significance. In firstly we, what we were said, I say a linear polynomial has one zero but you can't understand, you can't imagine what's the zero. I have taken the values of x at which polynomial becomes 0 and I get and solve the values and we get the values of x. That values of x is called the zeros of the polynomial. But we don't study the geometrical meaning. Here we plot a graph of linear polynomial and this linear polynomial cut the x axis at only one point. We have to look only the points on which it cut the x axis not the y axis it cut only the x axis on how many number points it cut the x axis is called the number of zeros again i repeat the graph how many points cut the x axis is called the number of zeros so in this case this graph cut the x axis at only one point so that points gives a zeros. So here we get only one zero. I hope you understand this. Please take a note first then we have to proceed our next quadratic equation. Please make a note.